what is the biggest motivation for us to do the things that we are doing. In my opinion it is happiness, if we feel good, if we feel excited, if we feel interested, it all brings happiness, it gives us happiness and happiness is really good feeling that we like to feel and it can be many different things for example like like going traveling to see different things explore you feel happy excited you eat different foods different dishes also flavorful and delicious you feel happy inside you may go to a party or drink just because it will give you some kind of happiness and we are basically doing everything to give us this happiness that we feel good inside and we are fulfilling our wishes and so we are becoming happy. So then there is one thing that I wanted to talk and it is the external things like everything this, that is around us. For example if I want to eat some delicious fruits then I dream about them and then I got them and I eat and I feel happy and I enjoy these things are very easy to be nullified like there is no fruits available around me and then I'm dreaming about fruits and I'm not able to get these fruits well, I will feel like angry even or maybe I will feel sad that I can't do it if, if I create in my mind attachment to this object and then I can't get it then I feel sad and then what is the reason? Is it the reason that the fruits are somewhere away and I can't get them while well, the other person next to me can be sitting without any fruits and he's totally fine, he's happy, he's satisfied, he may eat some potatoes and he will be happy but for me it will be oh I'm distressed because I can't get this so what makes the difference between one person and another person it is only the mind in your mind you think oh yeah I would like this it will make me happy that thing that I imagine it is going to make me happy but actually it is not like that that's the only only the mind is talking, he's saying, well, this is making me happy, that's making me happy, but there is no need for external things to be happy. In one second I can change from being happy to be sad, I can just feel less motivated. Okay, it's not so easy to just change your feelings like that, but in general you can feel sad and you can feel happy. You just need to motivate yourself in a different way, not thinking about some external material things that will bring happiness to you. External material things are very temporary and it all may bring a bit of happiness and then this happiness will disappear. As as many fruits as you can eat but one day you're gonna get sick of them or as many pleasure like sexual pleasure you can have but one day you're gonna get sick of it so all the outer things that we imagine is like the outer things that we think that are going to bring us happiness actually are very temporary they can give you a little bit of happiness little bit of happiness but the more you take it it's not gonna give the same pleasure anymore unless it is chirimoya fruit because chirimoya fruits are giving happiness for all the time and uh, so that's why we just have to realize that the happiness is inside we control the happiness we should understand that the outer material things that we can get and not get that they may bring us happiness are really not a reason for happiness you can be a person living in the poorest country and having few grains to share with your friends but still inside you may be much more happier than a rich person living in a, in the best house and with the, everything that he can imagine he may feel agitated, annoyed, irritated by everything and he will be just distressed and, and unhappy inside 
or it can be the other way around as well. But the thing is that the outside actually is not influencing how we feel, the mind is influencing how we feel, so we should only work with the mind to get the happiness, you don't need any external things. It is very good to have different things and we should put goals to get different things and it's nothing bad like like every that's why there is this nature with many different plants and different uh, places and beautiful nature beautiful different animals it's everything there for variety and we can experience these things but we shouldn't take it for granted you shouldn't think that these things are like like necessary for me to be happy because it is certainly not necessary we can be happy in a dark cave in Himalayas sitting alone without anything you can be happy totally happy and satisfied so to feel happy first of all we should appreciate what we have feel grateful for the things that we have it may not be nothing but we can just say oh thanks that I have so nice place to sleep and it's warm at night so like those simple things are nice enough to say thanks for them and be happy about them that uh, we are having them and as well we can do something good for others give smiles to others and you will feel better inside when you when you give a smile another person smiles you just feel better so these things are very simple Every, everyone can can practice these things like the gratitude for what you have and just sharing happiness giving to other happiness and trying to do something good for others and it will make you feel better inside yourself so if you practice these things and you pra practice uh, non-violence because violence is kind of opposite to happiness if it influences you like like if somebody is uh, hurting you and disturbing you it is difficult to to feel happy so we should respect everybody else and and not do something that is making them unhappy because in our opinion it may be oh I am gonna play these drums in the house like all day I'm so happy the music is so nice but the neighbors who are living around you they will be thinking oh my god like this person is terrible he will never be quiet when we want some quiet moments so you have to as well like accept like that others want to be happy too and if you alone are happy and others are distressed then it's a very little happiness so better to share the happiness when you share it it is much better when you take care of others if you don't uh, disturb them and don't uh, be violent so then everybody can be more happy and these are the few simple things that you can do so if you practice that, if you think about those things every day, you can be more happy and be less distressed by your mind. So, peace, go vegan, see you later.